What's up YouTube? This is your boy Eric Hitler coming back again with another tutorial. Uh, this time what we're doing is shortcut video editor. It is free. All you need to do is download it to your computer. It's not shortcut as your keyboard for your computers. No, that's not what it is. It's video editing and it is free. You can own the whole thing on your computer. No monthly pay all good and you'll be up and running making awesome videos so this five segment episodes will it's for beginners it'll be from uploading your first video clip editing text and audio to exporting the video to youtube vimeo or whatever you feel like so um welcome guys uh this is our first segment to our five episode series uh, on shortcut. So basically it is just a beginner's um, tutorial. Uh, it's gonna really get you up and running so you know exactly how you can start as well making your YouTube videos. By the way, uh, first of all, let's introduce the uh, program itself. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, make sure that you can see my screen. So I'm gonna open up this internet page um, that I have okay so now you can have it you can see it uh what i did is uh, just type into google shortcut editors to get some of the uh, information now shortcut is a free and open source cross-platform video editing application for free bsd linux mac os and windows it's been around for a little while started in 2011 by uh done Deneby, I think, I don't know, maybe I'm probably butchering his name. And uh, well, it is basically developed on the uh, multimedia framework, so which is good. Started since 2004, basically, and uh, I'm going to explain a few things. Why did I go through this first of all? It's written in C and C++. For those who understand computer languages, you will know uh, C and C++, they are not very different, but C came before. It's a very old uh, computer language, uh, programming language. Um, it's usually used for things like uh, uh, trading platforms. You know, if you know anything about the stock market, you will know what I'm saying. And C++ mostly with video games. So you are very safe with shortcut. So we're gonna get out of this and uh, figure out now how to download it. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go through the whole process of downloading it. We're just gonna show you what it is. So I, I want you to type in on oh, shortcut, shortcuts, not.com. You have to go for .org, not.com is .org. So you go to homepage, and uh, all of a sudden, here we are. So what we're looking to get done here is to download. You click on download. Uh, now, this, pro this, com this, this program here will pick immediately what sort of machine you're using. If you're using a window machine, it will sense it. If you're using a Mac, it will sense it. Like in my case, I'm using a Windows machine. Obviously, it just gave me straight away, it gave me the options of, for me to download in if my machine was a mac this would have been mac options because it's windows it picked it up now i'm going to explain a few things what you'll be looking at here you can see here because it's a windows um you will have an option for 64 bit or 32 bit okay so you have to be really really uh you have to know your machine quite well to know which one you should uh what uh, version you should download. Now I know my machine is a 64-bit. Given that it's a 64-bit, I have two options here, okay? I have an installer option and I have a portable zip option. Now I recommend that you go with the installer option because you're just going to download it onto your machine and get up and running right away. You don't need to go with a portable zip uh, if you are only just going to download it straight away from this machine and uh, get it up and running. You click that, you follow the steps. Obviously, it's going to prompt you like every other window machine. 
you know how it goes with Windows. It's going to prompt you asking you, are you sure you want to run this program? And you go, yes. And then you follow the steps. Most of you will know how to do these kind of things. So now um, let's get that done. I've already done it. Uh, so I don't need to go through those steps. Now, once you get it done, you have, you have downloaded it, you have it on your machine, and this is what comes up. This is what happens when you open it up. Okay, um, what you are looking at here, basically, it's the, uh, the prompt that comes up when you first open it up. And uh, what you see here, you see recent project. This is some of the things I've been doing before. And here you have new project. That means this is where you get to set up your new folder, the folder where you're gonna do all your, your production at. So um, I would like to keep this folder here that I used early because I opened it up not too long ago, uh, which is Shortcut Tutorial Classroom. I'm gonna leave that on. And uh, like I said, when you first open it up, this is basically what you have. And never mind these ones here, uh, the recent project, this is what I've been working on. So now here under project folder, you have to type in or open up what you want, what folder you want. And then you're gonna have to select the name of the project. So let me call these projects. You gotta name the project, okay? So I'm gonna call it um, shortcut. Shortcuts Classroom, oh, sorry, Classroom, Review, okay? I'm gonna call it Review, why not? Okay, once you get that, you click Start. Now, let me just point out to you that not every time you're gonna get this, you know, this is how sometimes when you open it up, it could come up like as. So when I press start after putting in the uh, project name, check this out. Yeah, it will come out blank like this sometimes. It depends what version you have and uh, all that things that comes with it, what machine you're using as well. And then you're gonna have to open up a folder that you're gonna work in from here, open file as you would normally do with your Word document. If you want to save at the end, or if you want to start already inside the folder, that's how you go. You open up a file and you, you, know, you set it up. It's the same thing, it's the same thing. Um, but this is what it comes up with. And uh, so what are we looking at? Okay, so this side here, the dark one, this part here, this window here, it's a source window, okay? This is where you upload your videos. And this part here, it's actually a monitor, TV screen or whatever you wanna call it, okay? This is where the video will be showing up. Now, to uh, open up and upload the, the videos, you will do like with any computer uh, software as you go, into open, fold, open file, like if I click there, all right? If I click there, then I get to select. I don't wanna go that way. So I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you why. So the, the bit you're looking at down here, this is the track, the track where your videos get to be played and you get to edit from there. Now I'm gonna go into my folder Right, so I have my folder opened up and I'm gonna use these, uh, these, these videos in it. So as you do, uh, you drag and drop. I'm gonna drag the first one and uh, go back. I think I just lost the folder there. Uh, and then I drag this video as well. I place it in. I'm gonna take some of the things that I'm gonna need all the way. Uh, throughout the tutorial. So I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna just drag them all in. And uh, once that's done, it's done. Okay, so good. All right, so what we have here, uh, it's already, like I said, this is the source. And this is the uh, project uh, window, which is the, the monitor, the screen. 
Uh, so I'm going to explain some of the things. Uh, so just bear in mind, down here it's written source, and down here, uh, so down here you have source and project. This is source, and this is what the project is. But the actual project that will be running will be down here. So you need to take a, you need to make sure the clip is put down here as a track, so you can have it on the project monitor as you're working on it. If I would like to screen through first what I have in the source, I would double click, like they say here, I have a yellow jacket. I double click on that. Hey, now it's playing, okay? So I can look through and see whether this is the right one. And then once you're done, you can drag it and drop. So now I have it. Say I wanna add on that video, I don't have to double click it to have it playing here. I already know what it is. So I can drag it from there directly and place it next to that one. And now I have both playing. So I can play that. Video to say, we appreciate you you can skip, meaning you don't have to play all the way. You can see that was moving. You can place it wherever you want it and play it. Subscribe. All right. You. Or you can use that, which is... Uh, uh, skip back, or you can use the other one here, which is, you know, skip forward. You know, you, you go to the next one. So I'm going to do that. You can see it's starting exactly where the second clip begins from. And you play that. There you go. So this is basically the basic overview of the program. And uh, in the next part of the series, what we're going to do now is to look at some of the most uh, common tools for you to be able to put together a video in a few minutes and uh, post it on YouTube or whatever you want to post it. So please subscribe and make sure you come back for the next one. Uh, let's get this going. All right. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Take a, take a little break and come back for the second part. Thank you.